So this video is going to walk you through on how to register for classes. You start off on the hancockcollege.edu webpage. Make sure that you're using either Chrome or Firefox because some of the functionality may not work with other browsers. You log into your portal on the upper right-hand corner. Click on the My Hancock tab. You input your username and password. So this two-factor authentication showed up. You should look for a one-time passcode in your email. This is your My Hancock portal. Um, to register for classes, click on this class registration and schedule tab. This is where you register or add drop classes. You can also search for classes or look at your current schedule. You can add a class, drop a class here, check your registration date, view your current schedule, or your waitlist options after you registered for classes, pass no pass options. So to add a class, you're going to click on the add a class tab. On the next page, select the term that you want to register for. You will then be prompted to review your student information and answer a few short survey questions. Please review your information carefully and contact admissions and records if you have questions regarding this information. Once the review and survey is complete, click the Continue to Registration button to move on to registering. On the next page, select Register for Classes. Select the term for registration and click Continue. Click the Panels button in the lower left corner to expand the Schedule and Summary panels, if they're not already visible. You may close the notification once complete. If you do not know the course reference number or CRN of the courses you wish to register for, you can use the Find Courses feature to search for classes. There are several ways to search for classes. The easiest would be to search by the subject and number. So if you scroll down through the Find Classes uh, search area, you can see all of the different ways which you can search for a class. So for example, let's search for Anthropology 101. Scroll down and then you're going to select the search option. So now all sections of Anthropology 101 will display. Course information such as the instructor and meeting, days and times um, will also be displayed in this section. If you hover over the meeting times column, it will display more information about the days and times of the course. Additional course details such as the course description and the instructor's email address can view, be viewed by clicking the course title. So for example, here's the course description. If you click on meeting times, room and instructor, you will see the instructor. If you click the instructor's name, it will display the instructor's email address. Once you find a section that you would like to register for, 
click the Add button to add the course to your summary panel. So in this instance, CRN 40015, I would like to add that class to my schedule, so click the Add button. And you'll see now that the course is listed under the summary panel and it is currently in a pending status. So to complete the registration, click the submit button in the lower right corner to confirm your registration. And now we use, you will see that the course status has now changed to registered. So courses with specific meeting days and times will display in the schedule panel to the left. And if you scroll down here, you'll see that the schedule times of the class and days are now displayed here. Also now the schedule details tab is available to give you more information about your course. You may view tuition and fees due by clicking the tuition and fees link in the summary panel. Please contact the district cashier's office for questions regarding fees and payments. If you wish to select the pass no pass option, if it is available for your course, click the schedule and options tab, which is located right here. So click where it says standard letter under the grading mode column. And then from this drop down menu, select pass or no pass. And then click the submit button, which is in the lower right hand corner. And I did get a confirmation that the save was successful. So just note that the change cannot be reversed once selected, so please make certain that you want to commit to this change before you do change it. Please refer to the class search for deadlines to change to the pass no pass option. If you know the CRN of the classes you wish to register for, um, click on the Enter CRNs tab. And then you will enter the CRN here. It does give you option to enter multiple CRNs at this point. So once you enter the CRN, click Add to Summary. And you will now see that the class has been added to the Summary panel in a pending status. So from here, you would click Submit to register into the course. So in this instance, I'm given an error notice that says the class is closed and that I can add myself to the waitlist. So in order to add myself to the waitlist, I'm going to go to the action drop down menu shown here. And I'm going to select the status that says waitlisted. And from here, click the submit button. And now you will see that the class is now in a waitlisted status. You may view your waitlist position at any time by clicking on the Schedule Details tab. The waitlist position is indicated here. You can also view your waitlist position by going back to the 